Now here's one more key benefit that scatting will give you as a rapper, and it's not an obvious one. Scatting can also help you improve your rap voice, your delivery, your emotion, your energy over whatever track you're working on. Now let's look at an example of that. Cadences and your, your, your emotions really tie in together because there's certain cadences that you'll use if you wanted to sound probably more aggressive. There's also certain cadences that you'll probably wanna use if you wanted to smooth things out and make it feel a little bit more calm and chill. Okay, so as you're scatting, you're not just playing around with musical patterns, you can also play around a lot with your voice. Okay, and once again, scatting is so great because we're not having to say anything intelligible yet. You know, we're not having to figure out what, how we're gonna make our words fit and all that stuff. Uh, when you're scatting, you're just totally free to experiment. And so pay attention as I play around with emotion, okay? Try not to get so, so caught up in what I'm doing uh, cadence pattern wise, because that's also a big part of what I'm doing. But just for this moment, just listen to my emotions. Listen to how I'm kind of fluctuating my voice up and down and I'm creating patterns with my actual tone of my voice. And that's playing into the energy I'm putting into the cadences that I'm scatting and stuff. Notice how, you know, when I want things to seem a little bit more chill and stuff, you'll start hearing a little bit more pauses in my scatting. And also you'll hear that reflected in my voice. And so once again, scatting allows you to play around with your, the emotions of what you're trying to do also within your songs. All right, check this out. Yeah. I'm just gonna start off chill and I'm gonna try to just build energy. All right, let's get it. Yeah, flat from embracing, fat grass in the past of my raving. I'm mass on the cast of my lafing, flow the gas to my prattle on my raving. I'm passing the cast of my braving, hold from the cast in the mass of my raving. Heat up to my cast of my rattle on my lafing. How to come and last in the brass on the mafing. You don't put the cast in the bad when I'm braving. How to coin the cast in the brass on the mafing. I found the past and the braving. You the found the past and the cast and my braving. I put the past when the feeling low. <laughs> from the cast and my running low. I put the I put the past and my running low. I feel cool. I put the past and the task and my running low. Put the pad on my mafing. Happy the cap us up with the past and my braving. Happy the cast up on the mask and the braving. Hippin' the coast up on the test and my lay. Yeah. Hey. Now here are some practical tips that actually help you improve your scatting, okay? Now if you're, if you're finding it difficult to get started with scatting and you're trying to come up with some type of cadences or something that you can play around with and nothing is really coming to mind, just think of a, a rap song that you know and, and, and are somewhat familiar with and just pick out a bar or two from that song. It could be during the verse or the hook and just use that as a starting point. Just use those first the one or two bars and use that as where you begin with your scatting. Okay, and then you take that and then you add on to it, you take away from it, you manipulate it, you change where you begin and, and all that type of stuff. And in order for this to work correctly from the beginning, you know, you have to have an understanding of where does that rapper's scatting fall in line with the beats and the bars, okay? So for example, the song by 50 Cent in the club, that hook doesn't begin at the very beginning of the bar of the hook section, okay? You can find me in the leads up into the beginning of the hook section of that song, okay? So you actually comes in right after that third beat before that hook section. Club lands on the first beat of the bar, okay? And don't get, once again, don't get so caught up in the details, but you wanna just basically be able to hear how does these cadences fit in line and structure with the bars and the beats? How do they begin, okay? And if you can do that, then you can apply that to any instrumental that you're working with and just adjust to the tempo. So let's look at a demonstration of that. I'm gonna use the 50 cent in the club and let's build off of it. So again, if you know where the cadence begins on one of your songs, in this case, 50 cent in the club, then you can use that cadence as a starting point on the song that you're working on if you're having a cadence block. And you don't have to necessarily copy their cadence verbatim, you can, it's music. They didn't create the musical pattern. They're not the first one to use it, I promise you that. But you can use it as a starting point and you can build off of it. You can you can you can just have fun with it. You can destroy it, tear it down, and, and create something completely different off of it. You can make slight you know add, uh, additions to it. You can take away from it. And let me just give you an example of that. Uh, once again, Fifty Cent in the club uh, hook right here. 
You can find me in the club. Hundreds in the club. Alright, I'm just gonna start off with the hook. So, find me in the club. Half one in the pub. And not for the brace on the braid to my love. You can find me in the club. Hot up on the bud. Alright, now I'm gonna start manipulating it. Check it out. You can find me in the club. Half in no prom. Half dip for raping your wave in your blood. You can find me in the club. You can pray in your. Hump the break finger up, you can find me in the club But the path to your bro, but the cast up on the pad up on the break of the love You can tie up in my hub, half in your bro, but the cap in your wave in your blood You can find me in the club, half in your bro, but the cap in your wave in your blood You can find me in the club, half in the pub, I'm black black But the pick when they're rated to my love, you can find me in the, rhyme me in the so I'm from the brass and Milani in her. You've been on the money in her. Turn the tie in her. I'm from the hopper, go break it to your body in the Find me in the pub. For the pap in your pub. But the cap in your pub, you can find me in the. But the pap in your pub. But the cap in your rape in your blub. But the battle in the hub. But the cap in your pub. But the pap pop 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 it pop pub. But the pap in your pub. But the pap in your pub. But the cap in your rape in your rape in your pub. You know what I'm saying? Now here's a few more tips to help you with your scatting, all right? First of all, just get in the habit of scatting on a regular basis. I have over 24 years of rapping experience and I still scat all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do as a rapper. It's, it's become somewhat of a tick of mine. I can't help, if I'm listening to an instrumental, I just start scatting and I'm playing around with it. I'm always playing around with musical ideas and that helps keep me keeps me sharp musically as a rapper. So get in the habit of doing it on a regular basis. With that being said, another tip, it's going to feel weird. It's going it's not going to be it's, it's it's not it's not normal. It's something if, unless you're you're not already doing this, it's going to be weird at first, okay? Don't let that discourage you. That's how it feels for everybody for the most part. And don't feel like you have to sound exactly like I do when I'm scatting. You know what I'm saying? You can develop your own your own style, your own sounds that you use a lot. You know, don't feel like you got to copy what I'm doing or anyone else is doing verbatim. Just get in the habit of playing around with musical patterns, recalling musical patterns that you know and that you're familiar with and seeing if you can do that over another instrumental and then completely tear it down and build it up and add to it and take away and just play around with it like it's clay and you can mold it in anything you want. And the more you do that, the better you'll get at doing that, which is what we call improvising, changing things, manipulating things, altering it, okay? And with that being said, just think for a moment, man, how much music you've heard throughout your entire life. You know, from, you know, most of us learned our ABCs from a song, okay? Think about all the songs you still have in your mind, right? The thing is, when it comes to scatting is, it's not so much about learning a bunch of new patterns, it's more about recalling a lot of the ones that you already know and keeping as many of those fresh in your mind because once you go to scat and you're trying to come up with cadences on the spot, what you're really doing is you're actually just recalling cadences you've already learned that are in your mind dancing around somewhere in your head. And so the more of these that you recall on a regular basis, the more of them you'll have to pick from when you are scatting. And once again, you are getting out of the way and you're not trying to overthink things. And at moment when you're playing the instrumental, you'll have more of those that you can lean on. You know, for example, if you've seen with someone freestyling and they keep using the same words over and over and over again, that's just because they need to get more words in their vocabulary. They need to, they need to grow their vocabulary so they have more words to lean on on a regular basis and it won't sound so obvious that they're leaning on those words. And another major tip when it comes to scatting is get out of your own head, get out of your own way, do not overthink it. Scatting is all about feeling. Okay, it's all about feeling emotion and vibe. You know, when I'm scatting, sometimes I'm just zoning out and I'm just in that moment. You know, I get kind of lost in time, if you will. And it's not about being super analytical and critical and judgmental of yourself. That's not what scatting is. You know, it's all about music. It's all about being musical. And so don't be so harsh on yourself when you first start scatting. It's not gonna sound amazing, most likely, okay? And that's okay, that's okay. That's how you get better at it. But just start playing around with it and, and give yourself the, the flexibility and the freedom and the permission to grow in scatting. Cause I'm telling you as a rapper, it's like one of those things that's gonna help you out probably the most when it comes to a, a, a tool that we use as rappers. Scatting is a huge one, a huge tool that we use to make our lyrics sound so good as rappers. So 
do not sleep on scatting. And one more final tip, all right? Scatting is, is, is more of an advanced thing, all right? If you don't have already a solid musical foundation, and what I mean by that, I don't mean you've been like classically trained to play an instrument, but it helps to have just basic music theory fundamentals down pat first before you move on to scatting. Like for an example, if you're not able to, if you don't know what a bar is or you don't know what beats are, if you can't hear the beginning and ending of a bar, if you don't understand like tempo and just those basics, then scatting is likely gonna be very difficult for you. So I recommend before you try to start getting into scatting, start with getting that musical foundation first and that's gonna help you because you're gonna need that in order to scat effectively, okay? And so, and if you're wondering how can you get that, that's why I created a free online course right here on my YouTube channel, it's a playlist, called Five Minutes to a Better Rap Flow, and that will get you started with that. So there's no easier way to get going, just I'll put a link at the end of this video where you can get access to that playlist, save it on your YouTube channel, come back to it frequently, don't rush through it, because ear training, understanding just basic music theory is the foundation, not just for rappers, but anybody doing anything in music. So I have that for you, so make sure you start there if you haven't already, and then that will set you up for success when it comes to scatting. And also, if you're new to my channel, I wanna hook you up with a free gift that is really gonna help you out when it comes to understanding how all this rapping thing works. It's an ebook I wrote called The Number One Fundamental to Rapping. It's an easy read, you can consume it just in one sitting. And once again, it's a tool that's gonna to be helpful for, for you starting off as a rapper and just kinda of understanding how all this stuff works. So make sure that you hook yourself up with that. Don't, don't, don't cheat yourself, treat yourself, okay? This again, this is Cole Miles with ColeMilesStudios.com. I'm signing off, and remember, when it comes to rapping, there's no rules, there's only techniques.